Happy 4th of July. I know that some of us are not celebrating, but I mean, I've always not really celebrated 4th of July, but we've always like had cookout food. So I'm also still proud to be an American despite everything happening in our country. So yeah, I'm not here to police anyone's beliefs about the 4th of July. Um, who ate some of these last night? But yeah, we will be eating and drinking and having fun and spending time with each other. <laughs> so I'm getting ready to make some coffee. You guys know my favorite chocolate glazed donut by the donut shop. This is one of my house dresses. <laughs> And this is just a Savage X Fenty bralette. Let me see if I, uh, I can't show you. It's, it doesn't really suit a larger bust. So there's a lot of cleavage, but um, it's this print right here. I figured it looks like a swimsuit top. It works. So I'm gonna use my milk frother for the first time. So let me wash this. But this is what it looks like. I will link it down below. I never used it before, so let me read the instructions. Well, we'll just put it in and see what works. It works. Okay. So I just realized because I didn't get one that actually comes with a canister, I need a glass. My Ray Dunn sip glass. I don't wear jobs, I am a job. <laughs> that is so funny to me. Sugar-free coffee creamer. That's probably a lot. But let's see how this works. Oh my gosh. Ooh, it's nice and frothy. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. This is so cool. So you guys saw when I poured it in this glass, there was not this much in it. It's definitely frothy, let me taste it. Mmm. Ooh. Oh wow, that's good. I will link this down below. Ah! It's like I have a latte. Okay, now I'm gonna have to go on Amazon and get some uh, double walled like glass mugs. Mmm. Mmm. Oh wow, I like that. Taking my home nutrition flatter me. Yesterday was the first time that I worked out like my for real workout in a really long time. And today I will do my new July workout so you guys will get to see that. I am having like the worst mask acne. It's so bad. Um, I'm trying not to stress over it because there's nothing I can do to avoid it, but it's annoying. Loving my milk frother. This is just so cool. Like I have frothed milk. Like who am I? She's fabulous. So I think a couple of weeks ago, I showed you guys my um, cell phone tripod. And I use this when I'm on FaceTime. Uh, I could use it to also take pictures as well, but the top phone portion, this part broke, probably because I was impatiently using it wrong. <laughs> so they sent me a replacement. Shout out to UBZ's customer service. So I got a new one. Oh, they gave me a different kind. This is cool because this is the actual kind that I wanted. So it's a little different from the one that comes with it. Um, if I can find this down below because this is their brand, I will link this as well as the tripod. 
But, um, yeah, I wanted this phone tripod because, oh, this is even better. Let's see. Because, okay, does it unscrew? How do you work it? I figured it would come in handy when I am talking on the phone or, you know, whatever I want to do. It doesn't even move. What's going on? Okay. Well, I guess that's broken too. I don't have the energy or patience to deal with that, but now I have another uh, phone shutter. These are actually great. Um, I think I spoke about this on one video. When I don't have anyone to take my pictures for Instagram, I'll either use my camera and use the timer, like my physical camera that I use for videos, or I will use one of my iPhone shutters. So the, these are really great and they work and they work with Android. <clears throat> Excuse me, they work with Android and iOS. 98.2. Okay. We're still okay for now. Open Safari. Open Safari. Thank you. I love um, the new MacBooks with uh, Siri. It's a lifesaver. Okay, so let me go on Amazon and get a clear glass. I'm trying to wait because I've been watching a few people's vlogs and they said that when they buy an espresso, it comes with a welcome gift. And they can get like glasses or coffee capsules. Um, so I'm trying to wait, but I don't, like now that I have my milk frother, honey, I want to use it now. Does every Nespresso come with a welcome kit? So what are you guys' favorite pods if you do have an espresso? I think I'm definitely going to try the vanilla custard pie, caramel cookie, Bianco Forte, it looks like they have some older flavors. Venezio is a, is a flavor that's being discontinued. I hope you guys are following me on Instagram because today I asked you guys for some questions because I'm gonna be doing a Q and A. It's gonna be a Q and A and a hair video. So I asked you guys to send me some questions. I'll see you guys later. I'm gonna figure this out and then watch Greenleaf. I've been watching Greenleaf. I spoke to my friend. Still haven't figured out how to work this. Enjoying my quiet 4th of July. Um, I know everybody's trying to like cancel the 4th of July, but I never really took this holiday too seriously, but like I am gonna eat, drink, and be merry. I don't, I didn't cancel the 4th of July like a lot of people. Look what I do to the trash. We don't eat after each other. I know some people, I don't know, maybe, I think when some people dislike you so much, they're always just like looking for a reason to hate you and talk about you. Like, I'm a germaphobe. I don't eat after my dog. That spoon is going in the trash now, okay? <laughs> We're having macaroni salad, chicken, chicken, and burger like sliders. I'm tired. <laughs> I want it today to be restful, but mom life. <laughs> 
Um, but no, it's been a great day. It's been kind of relaxing. Like I got to do a little of what I wanted before I started like cooking and cleaning and doing dishes and whatnot. And I feel like earlier I was telling you guys about my nails. I did these last night at like 10 or 11 p.m. just because I knew I'd be washing dishes today. And when your nails get old, especially a gel manicure, like when they start lifting, if you're doing dishes or doing your hair, like they'll start coming off. So this is DND 496. It's called Ballet Slipper. Um, I'll put that in the description box below. I am editing, well, I already edited it, but I'm processing the vlog that's gonna go live tomorrow in real time. Here comes Chloe with her favorite lamb. Let me show you guys. <laughs> Mommy caught you. Mommy caught you. Mommy caught you. I'm gonna let this video process. I'm gonna upload it and then I will show you the dinner for tonight. This is my July workout. This is the first time I'm doing it, so give me some grace. Let's see how it goes. First, I have to do 100 jumps. I made it through the first break and I had to stop. I'm gonna link this workout down below. That is the hardest shit I have ever done because some of that stuff I'm just not strong or small enough to do. Is there no thing over here? So I had to modify it. But I'm leaving this clip in the vlog to show you guys that push yourself. I may have only made it to the first break today, but I'm gonna do this workout all month. And I promise three vlogs from now, you guys are gonna see me finish that. And that wasn't even using any weights. Those Heather Robertson workouts are no joke. Next time I do it, I will definitely have on a sports bra and proper workout clothes. But I'm just so proud of myself for trying. A year ago, I would have never attempted that type of workout. I need to ask my girl, Happy Stylish Mommy, does she do this workout? I feel like she does, but she's like probably half my size. <laughs> but when I see her doing these Heather Robertson workouts, it just motivates me so much. It's okay. It's okay. Nothing's gonna happen. I promise. 
Okay. The breath sucks. <coughs> it's just fucking work. You don't have to cry, okay? Chloe. <laughs> She's like... <laughs> Ooh! Ah, oh, I can't. This is too much. No. Okay, baby. Thank you for my kisses. Outside of the 4th of July with my laptop, my phone, my cigar, and my red phone. Talking about cheers. Happy Sunday. Chloe, there's no food on the floor. <laughs> Today is the day after the 4th of July or whatever you guys want to call it. I woke up so hungry because yesterday I barely ate. You're not getting any though. I have two sliders on Hawaiian bread macaroni salad and a piece of chicken made with Jamaican chicken seasoning. It's bomb. Mmm. Mmm. And you guys, I don't usually eat when I wake up, but I was so hungry today because I didn't eat enough yesterday. I woke up thinking about this burger. And then I stepped on the scale and I was like, oh my God, you didn't gain any weight. Cheers. <laughs> so yesterday, my friend and I were listening to Grinding by Clips. That was the song back in middle school. And all the boys would like beat on the desks with pencils and it drove me crazy. And now I love the song. <laughs> I know you guys remember that. Um, if you're around my age, if you're in your like 30s, 20, late 20s and 30s, you remember when grinding was a popular song and the kids would beat on desks. <laughs> so my goal is by the end of July to be able to do it without quitting. And I'd also like to lose 10 pounds this month. I've been battling 10 pounds since quarantine started. I came back from Texas. I had a week long training. And since then, I've been like 10 pounds heavier than I want to be. And I cannot lose the weight. I really think it's because I'm not doing cardio right now. I mean, like jumping rope is cardio, but I'm not doing it for 30 minutes. So I really hope to make some progress in July. If not, it's okay. But I can tell a difference in my body. 
when I look at um, pictures, I still feel good because I'm actually working out, but I need these 10 pounds going. Let me finish my meal and I'll come back to you guys a little later. Um, I'm filming today. I have to take pictures for Instagram. Yeah, I have to work out and clean. I'll see you guys later. Hello? Hi. They what, regular size, you said? Oh, they're medium? Oh, okay. Then I'd like one, uh, how many sides do I get? <sighs> Hello, guys. I'm back from taking somebody places to pick up food, because that's pretty much what it was. Uh, today's scent of the day is Giorgio Armani C. I need some water. That's one of my favorite sweet, sexy scents. So, I feel like this is the first time we really got to sit down and talk this vlog. There go my neighbors. I've been using this dip brow for so long. I'm finally going to... Throw it out and I have a new one up here. I don't like opening a new package of Anastasia Dip Brow. That's what I use for my brows because when you open a new pack, it's so smooth and creamy that it's like hard to get control of your product. So let's see how I do this. Like all you literally have to do is like tap the side of the brush and like that's how much product barely any okay let's see but the good thing is that dip brow lasts me like almost a year so that's why i like it i think i started off using anastasia's brow wiz but i was having to purchase one like every three weeks luckily though that was during the time that i worked at sephora so i got a discount so the main reason why i switched over to dip brow is because a little goes a long way so it lasts a lot longer and i can get my perfect brow shape i just have to use a brush <sighs> but we are alive and well and i saw that there was like some concert series in atlanta last night Everybody was out and about. <sighs> Not me. Made peace with the fact that I really won't see my friends this year. But that is what good old technology is for. And I would rather be safe because a lot of people I know have been all over the country. And yeah, I'm staying home. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to link all the products that I use down below. Look at that gray patch. For my foundation routine, I am going to be doing a foundation routine, a summer foundation routine sometime soon. Because since I stopped doing makeup tutorials, um, I've gotten a lot of new subscribers and a lot of people are asking for like my everyday foundation routine. And I like to do an updated one every summer because like, that's the time when my skin is experiencing the most as far as like heat, humidity, sweat, stuff like that. Oh, <sighs> the skin, you guys. Mask me is no joke. My skin is definitely suffering. And I started using the... Um, what is it? The Ordinary is here it is. The Ordinary Niacinamide 10% plus Zinc 1%. This is supposed to be really great for blemishes. I haven't seen a difference yet. It's going to be featured in the video that I'm about to film. So, um, but I do see differences with one thing and I'm, that's what I'm going to be talking about today. But overall, it's supposed to help like pores and blemishes. So, we'll see. Luckily, I feel confident enough to be on camera and go out in the world without makeup because if I didn't, it'd be pretty bleak. This is the concealer I'm using. You 
guys already know, my good girl, Charlotte. Charlotte. <laughs> I'm loving this um, bronzer. It's so pretty. Mm -mm. Hey guys, so I'm finished filming. I'm getting ready to take these clip-ins out and edit and relax. It's Sunday. I want to spend some time and relax and clean. It was a long filming day, but I had so much fun. I also need to take a picture. I forgot about that. But yeah, this is what happens on a filming day. Your girl is tired, but it's worth it. And thank you guys for submitting all the questions for the Q&A. The video will probably be out before this one. It was really fun to do. And you guys sent in some really good questions. So stay tuned to that. Homemade peach cobbler. <clears throat> mm. mm -hmm. This was your first time making it, right? Mm. Well, that's good. It's time to eat our 4th of July leftovers. Chloe, I put your food in your bowl, sweetheart. Mm -mm -mm. King's Hawaiian sliders. Mm -mm. Good afternoon, people. Whew. Today is Monday. <laughs> Why didn't I know that? Just finished running errands. Got back home. I forgot to take my supplement this morning. My home nutrition flyer me, which I really like. I think I like this better than the gut instinct. So I can't wait to do that review later on. A new video just went live. My poor cleansing routine. Summer. Um, I also showed on Instagram a few days ago that I got the new Biosance Vitamin C Rose Oil, I believe. I'll insert a picture. Uh, I used it today. It's making my face glow, but when I first put it on, it was super, super oily. It has absorbed into my skin a fair amount, but it's still a little too oily for my liking. So I don't know if that's something that I'll be using during the day. But then I kind of just don't feel like it's worth it because vitamin C serum should really be used during the day. I did um, start using that and I do like it. I just would prefer a vitamin C serum, but that's okay. I'm gonna respond to comments. I have to check emails. Guess what shipped today? My Nespresso. Let me go track that and see when that's gonna arrive. <coughs> Thank you. Excuse me. I got an espresso. I bought it a few weeks ago. It was back ordered, so it did ship. It is in transit. And hopefully it will be here soon. I'm so excited. I can't wait to buy some pods. So let me see. I bought it from Bloomingdale's. If they're still having their sale, they are. Um, I will link it down below. Open notes. I love cereal, my computer. This is her vlog 21, I believe. Nespresso machines on sale at Bloomingdale's. When I made my purchase, I got um, some type of reward or something, like a $25 loyalist reward. So I said I was going to use that to buy some pods. There it is. The Vertuo line barista flavored pack mild roast coffee. 
So this is $44. It includes 10 caramel cookie, 20 vanilla custard pie, and 10 hazelino muffin. So I'm going to add that to my bag because I definitely want to get that. I really want to buy the Montal Paris Rose Elixir. It's just such a beautiful scent. But I recently bought another MFK. So I'm trying to be good for a while. I just told you guys that I uh, purchased an MFK fragrance. They just sent me an email saying the exceptional circumstances that we have had to face during this crisis did not allow us to offer you our usual standard of service. And I got 20% off my next purchase. Hello. Well, <laughs> thank you, MFK. I'm going to be doing an MFK collection haul. Well, it's not a haul. It's a collection. Not really a collection because I only have two. And I'm also going to be doing first impressions of the sample packs that I purchased. So I'll be doing that at the end of this month. And then I'll do another one next month. But now that I have 20% off, <laughs> now that you say it, I see a couple of new scents that I've never seen. This Lumiere Noir, Le Beau, Seal de Gum, something, I don't know. <laughs> Stop buying fragrance. I was about to buy a Louis Vuitton scarf. Because one of my favorite channels on here, uh, I think her channel is T space E space E, basically T. And she does a lot of shoe hauls. She does luxury hauls. And she showed this bandeau. I couldn't find the video. I went looking for it today while I was out and I couldn't find it. But she showed this bandeau that was so beautiful and perfect for spring. And I think I'm going to have to get it. The Voyage Extraordinaire Bando. This just screams summer. Yeah, I'm about to get that. Um, yeah. I really want a new toiletry case. This, this today is turning into a shopping day. That was not supposed to be today. Yeah, let's see. I'm going to look on Fashion File. Anyway, y'all probably don't want to watch me shop. So let me get my life together. I'll see you guys a little later. She's going to continue to bark because that's what she does. And goodbye. <laughs> Chloe. I don't care. Don't growl at me. You ready to be clean, Chloe? You ready to get the watermelon off your chin and smell like a princess? Yeah. First, let's cut your nose hairs. Be good. It's not scary. Being able to do small things for Chloe has really come in handy. It's okay. Mommy would never hurt you. You're fine. Look, you can see again. You got one more whisker. <laughs> Mommy, have a kiss? Oh, thank you. Thanks for my one little kiss. Okay, let's get this bag going. Let's get this bag going. Let's get this bag going. Lucy, you want mommy to dance for you? Let's get this bag going. Let's get this bag going. I will be sure to insert a picture of what Chloe's leave-in conditioner looks like. Yes, my baby has to have a leave-in conditioner. Y'all see how skinny she is? 
She's all hair. Aw, are you mad? Can mommy have a kiss? Can I have a kiss? I don't think you're ready for her jelly. I love you anyway, Chloe. I'm going to love you anyway. I'm going to love you anyway. Anyway, anyway. I'm going to love you anyway. I think I forgot to tell you guys my scent of the day. Today I wore Montal's Rose Elixir. Or did I tell you that? I know I posted it on Instagram. I'll insert a little picture. It definitely gives fabulous, fashionable, childless auntie vibes. I need it, that's me. Why are you running? Oh my gosh, someone help me. Come on, let's clean your ears and get a treat. Go in the kitchen. Why? Then I come downstairs and Chloe has peed on the floor. Chloe. Okay, mommy's going to work out. You're gonna be a good girl. Oh, you're listening? You're gonna be a good girl? Yeah, be a good girl. 100 jumps. Today I did 11 minutes. I'm kind of disappointed in myself because it's the second day that I have quit my workout. And I just feel so defeated. 11 minutes is better than nothing. This is definitely the hardest workout I've done from Heather. All the jumping, the squatting, the floor movements. I just feel like I took 10 steps back but I guess I should look at it like, you finished one set plus one exercise. Like, <sighs> hmm, I just feel like I'm failing at my July workout challenge, <sighs> but I'm still attempting it. Before I would skip the planks, but this time I'm actually attempting them. I modify them, but it's still hard. Whatever, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I am out, it's raining, I don't know if you can tell, but I am going to smoke uh, the cigar that I started on the 4th of July. You're not technically supposed to do this, but whatever. Happy cigar smoking. Good morning. 
just got back from hunting and gathering. About to have some coffee. Hello, my friends. Oh, I'm gonna froth my milk first. Yay, I'm so excited. Okay, so I used the Coffee Make Sugar Free French Vanilla. I'm going to try it this way first because. says you can pour the cream first. Whoa! It makes it so much cream. This is so exciting to watch. I'm such a kid. I got my Bloomingdale's Loyalist Rewards gift card today. So I'm gonna go online and order some Nespresso capsules. I'm gonna order my container to put my pods in or capsules. I'm wondering if I could just keep the Keurig one. Maybe I should wait to see because I might be able to keep my Keurig one. But yeah, today is a work day for me. Um, I'm also gonna be cooking tonight. So right now it just looks like a bunch of foam. But, let me get my stir. What a very um, fruitful morning. I went grocery shopping. I went to Target to pick up two doormats. I got them from Target just because we have not had new doormats since we moved in. So, it was time. I looked at the reviews on these and I really like the fact that they have rubber on the bottom so they'll stay Put, and they were able to track to keep a lot of dirt. This is what we previously had. Oh, I love it with the frothed cream. I'll come back later um, after my workout. You guys have seen my workout now twice. I doubt that you want to sit through it again, but I just wanted to come and check in, let you guys know what's happening in my day. Um, it's 9.45 and I have done like five things already. So today's been a great day. Yeah, I'll see you guys a little later. So I just bought um, one of my friends a gift. He is starting chiropractic school. He's basically getting his doctorate um, to be a chiropractor. And he starts school in like five days. And so I just got him like a congratulations. I'm so proud of you gift because he's been talking to me about like how he is a little worried about going to school and, you know, like wondering if he can handle it or not, which he's like one of the smartest people and one of the most dedicated people I know. So I know he will handle it well, but um, sometimes it's just nice to do a little something nice for someone who's going through a life change or something. So I'm really excited about that. I asked him for his address today and he was like, why do you need it? Don't worry about it. So hopefully, um, hopefully that helps him out and I'm going to try to get it to him before the school actually begins. But that made me kind of like pumped and happy. Oh, I forgot to put my kombucha in the fridge. Every time I go to Kroger to get groceries, hashtag hunting and gathering, um, I buy kombucha. Sometimes it's GTS brand. Sometimes it's that brand that has the big wide bottle. I don't know what it's called. But um, I picked this one up because it was a little cheaper than the other one that I like. And it also only has 12 grams of carbs for the entire bottle. Kroger has a brand of kombucha, but it has twice as many carbs, and she's not trying to get fucked. I'm about to eat lunch and drink my kombucha. I'm trying to get my life together. Let me check my temperature. I'm trying not to check it multiple times in a day, so I have moved it away from my workspace, but I still want to check it every day. It comforts me. I know it's probably not good, but... It's normal. <laughs> surface level stuff that is like that I need to consider. Like, are we gonna be fine? Are we not gonna be fine? You know what I mean? I just need time and space, and I don't believe I need to air that out on the internet because I don't think it's something that needs to be held accountable. You know, whatever. People are people. Chloe. 
it's noon and you have morning breath. You need to go eat. Mm -mm, don't give me a kiss. <clears throat> She's nice and white though and fluffy. Cause she got a bath. She's such a baby. Oh, Chloe. You gonna have a good day today? You're not gonna be pissy paws. I have to give you forehead kisses because you have morning breath. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's smiling. He's smiling, pretty people. So I did the calculations because I'm a nerd. And it's not too much more expensive than like what I'm spending on coffee now. So let's say right now I spend $7 for... 10 pods so my keurig i'm spending 30 a month so now i'm spending like 11 dollars for 10 so 11 times 3 is 33 so i'm really not spending too much more money so i think the difference is that now i have to buy all my coffee in bulk well to get free shipping because i don't like paying for shipping so now I have to buy all my coffee in bulk. So it feels like I'm spending more because I'm buying it all at one time, which I don't necessarily like. But I got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Oh my God, I just got 70 capsules. <laughs> I just bought 70 freaking Nespresso capsules. But I got a good deal on the ones that I got from Bloomingdale's because I had a $25 loyalist card. Oh my gosh, look at Chloe. Okay. Anyway, so I am set for coffee. If I got 70, 70 pods divided by I use about five a week that should last me 14 weeks okay I should be stocked for a while I did it guys I made it to 20 minutes I did two sets oh my gosh I feel awesome so I'm realizing I have to do it early in the day I tried my best I'm not gonna say that I did as many reps as Heather did but I tried my best. I did do modifications. I feel so amazing. Oh, I'm proud of myself. <laughs> Yesterday I felt so defeated. But this is proof, you guys. Stick to it. Change it up a little bit. But don't give up. Now I'm going to go cool down. And today I have on the proper attire. Yvette Sports Sports Bra, which is my favorite. I will link this one down below. My Target tank, and these are my favorite um, Zella workout pants. <sighs> I feel so successful and so sweaty, but it's the best feeling ever, and everybody is blowing me up. Y'all, I'm busy getting skinny, okay? Y'all know what song I have stuck in my head. That go, 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 go. <laughs> And I don't even know why, because I swear I've probably only seen it like three times on social media and I am not into anything popular, but I keep finding myself going, go, 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 go. <laughs> I feel like an old head.
today is the next day. It is Wednesday. I just realized I never close out tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yesterday's. Mm, I never close out yesterday's vlog. So I wanted to say thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Um, it probably wasn't too, too interesting. But uh, I'm going to do something fun this weekend. Safe and fun. So hopefully the next vlog will be a little bit better. I love you guys. I hope you're having a great start to your week. Be happy. Radiate positivity. Yeah, and share that message with someone. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow. Bye, guys.